What is the deal, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Work Birdie, and I'm back with another video. Today, I'm going to be showing some people how to, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use MSI Afterburner, the overclocking feature for the Alien Alpha. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to and Google search MSI Afterburner and download that file. It's going to show up on your window right here. You're going to want to open that and then hit accept it all right these are my settings right here and my core clock i put it at 89 my memory clock i put it at 480 now memory clock with battlefield you i had it at 300 and i noticed that my textures weren't well my Basically, like my, I get more frames per second when I bumped it up more. So, and you don't want to go too crazy with it. So, I got it at a 480. And then right here is your profile. So, different games, you might want to have different profile settings. And all you would do is you would click right here, and then it'll turn them all red. And then you'll just basically profile your games because certain games you would want to clock your clock settings differently, and you can adjust it. Um, I wouldn't go, this is pretty high for a mem the memory clock, so I would stay at, keep it around 480. I wouldn't go anything, probably like 499. I heard some people putting it at 5, but you will notice that your temperature gauge, whenever you're playing, is usually idle at 81, 82. You don't want to take it no higher than... 90 basically if you get to 90 you're doing something wrong shut it down and start over you want to keep it at 81 and then so if you are overclocking don't be afraid to turn your graphic settings to ultra high and everything like that because the system will just actually pull more heat in and it will actually go to ultra settings 1080p whatever you want it to do so when people say that the alien can't play every game right now, every game that's out, it can play every game in ultra without a problem. 60 frames without a problem with this overclock feature. Um, you're going to want to go to settings. And right here is all your settings for your GPU. Um, there's things that it will let you do. There's things that it won't let you do. Um, right here, I got this clicked on. This will basically give you an on-screen display of your GPU, the temperature. Uh, you can click some more things to have on-screen display. I just got the temperature because that's the only thing I really care about. Um, you got screen capture, screen display, uh, video capture. So, um, these things right here. They won't let you do anything if you're running this next program that I'm going to show you how I get crispy clean videos on YouTube. But uh, this is always running in my background. Right here starts up with Windows and everything. Uh, I got the GeForce GPU. If you're watching this video, I'm sure you got an Alien Alpha and you should be watching it. Um, I got the new driver that I just downloaded yesterday. Uh, three five three dash zero six. Um, no problems with it. So that's that. And then now I'm gonna open up my the GeForce experience and show you guys how to record in Shadow Play. Okay, so basically this is the GeForce experience right here. And it tells you your drives that you got running. So you see I just updated it. Uh, and I, I talk, give you a little rundown on it, you know, whatever. Um, G-Sync technology. Uh, I don't know what that is. I got, uh, my boy told me a little bit what it is. But um, there's really... I don't know if they're going to add it in or whatnot, but there's nothing that shows you how to tweak with that setting. All right. So this is all your shadow play stuff right here. You're going to have to, when you get shadow play, you got to turn it on with the green light. All right. This gives you all your broadcasting 
modes and stuff like that. You're going to hit this for manual recording or whatever. And they, they'll they have shortcuts. I'll show you all that in a second. Um, this is for your audio. To get the best quality, they'll ask you recording in-game resolution, 60 frames. All of that. But it'll be 1080p, 60 frames. Right here is all of your operations for shadow play um to i'm re capturing desktop right now from shadow play and what you're going to do is it's real small you won't pay attention to it you're going to want to allow desktop capture for any kind of capturing you're doing and you'll see all of these things right here All your shortcuts, manual recording, active push talk, whatever. I just got mine on manual, so it's always on. Um, all right, when you're done with that, what you're going to want to do is you're going to, when you're done recording whatever you're doing and you want the crispiest video on YouTube 1080p 60 frames a second what you're going to want to do is you're going to you're going to want to go right here basically and these will be all of your videos right here you can play them look crispy clean with that you're going to open up your YouTube you're going to upload your video the thing that I can tell you about this is if you, this is raw footage right here. If you take this raw footage and let's say you want to upload it to Microsoft Movie Maker, what that is going to do is compress your file and it's going to change basically the file type. So, and then instead of the video coming out 1080p 60 frames, your video might come out 1080p 30 frames in some cases. 720p 30 frames so take that into consideration that's why my videos look so much more crispier than a lot of people's videos is because they're using other kind of tools to compress and put you know borders and shaders and all kinds of stuff into their videos so yeah that was it hope you guys enjoyed the video like to hear some feedback don't forget to donate very appreciate it you know the work that we do out here it's for to help you guys out there yeah M remember to favorite share like and subscribe i've been your boy work birdie and this is a video on how to